You know, then you get the United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, has a project to empower women and youth in refugee settlement areas. The UNFPA country director, Ale Sibenala, said prioritizing needs of young persons is fundamental in development, as we hear in this report. <laughs> The United Nations Population Fund has launched a women adolescent and youth project, a five-year program targeting refugees, and Uganda is in the selected refugee hosting districts of northern Uganda. UNFPA country director Lane Sibanila says the program empowers women and young people, including refugees, to contribute to their communities. Strengthening health systems to deliver high-quality sexual reproductive health and rights services, but specifically focusing on capacity building of service providers that are improving reproductive health, commodity security, and strengthening the decentralized coordination mechanisms. All interventions will be having an integrated approach to gender equality, sexual and reproductive health, and the rights as well as gender-based violence prevention and response. I'd like to adopt the co-creation and innovation approaches that engage all the young people in devising practices that are aimed at improving demand and accountability for their health and for GBV, gender-based violence services. During the launch at Boma Grounds in Alua District, State Minister for Northern Uganda, Grace Kui Ching, argued NGOs to follow approved proposals on issues of reproductive health. I want also to say it here categorically. If we are going to talk about sexuality, responsibility and rights, it should not be about homosexuality. It should be something which can help us mature and protect ourselves and mature and be able to look at our, uh, after our families and mature and be able to take decisions that we don't go astray. Local leaders and the targeted class of people appreciate the program since they've been experiencing challenges especially those at Invempi refugee settlement. This program succeed. All the political leaders of Lamu and the technical people are strongly behind this. We have all utterly accepted this program. And we'll make sure that no stone is left unturned to make sure that we implement it with a dot. To the women, advising them to go to the health centers, to go and deliver in the health center for safe product, for safe deliverance. This program will strengthen the human development and it is paid on two local authorities to build strong, healthy and reproductive lives. Abdul Nasir Wama reporting. On to